Junior, your new girlfriend, she snores too loud. She's got to go. Okay, Dad. Wait, what? Dr. Henry Jones Sr., played by the great Sean Connery. Now, I don't know. It's been said that, you know, once you give the character a history, you take the pulpness out of the character. I don't believe. I, I actually do not believe that in this case, especially with Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. I really liked Sean Connery as Indiana Jones' father. I thought that was really brilliant casting. I'm so glad he took the part. Um, as it, we all found out later, Sean Connery was not that much older than uh, uh, Harrison Ford at the time. Uh, he was older, but not that much. Uh, it's, it's sort of a, I believe it's sort of a Winchester situation where um, um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan is not that much older than Jensen Ackles. And, you know, if, there's no way he could actually be their father. But, you know, we do it anyway. We do it this way anyway, right? Right. Anyhow. Uh, <laughs> but again, you know, the spiritual father, uh, uh, the one thing I always liked was the spiritual father of Indiana Jones was James Bond. Who's James Bond? Sean Connery. There you go. Uh, that, was the, that was the perfect reason for the casting right there. Needed no more in my mind. Um, and, you know, I gotta say, this figure, I mean, it does, the, the face and sculpt does look like Sean Connery. Um, you lose it a little bit dead on, but for the most part, almost any angle, it's like, there's not a doubt in your mind. Oh, it's Sean Connery. And, of course, he has the hat and the glasses. Awesome accessories. He's got his uh, grail diary, which is a must-have for Henry. He's got the uh, case and the umbrella. Now, my one bone is that I wish they fixed it to where you could put the umbrella in the case as it was done in the movie. That would have been fun. But no. No, no. No, 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 no. We can't do that. The paint, color choices, everything is spot on. And I don't see why they wouldn't be able to do this because they did it in 118 scale. Perfectly. One of the best damn 118 scale figures ever made was Henry Jones in the Indiana Jones. It was really Kingdom Crystal Skull was what they were kind of holding it to. And, you know, but this was the Last Crusade portion of that weight, of that line. That, it, that damn figure was perfect. It was. It went above and beyond, and I was sitting there going, "Man, why weren't they doing this with the freaking first couple of waves?" Who knows? No one knows. At least of all me. But you know what? I still really like this figure too, and I knew I would as soon as I heard that they were going to make it. I just had a feeling they're going to repeat history, and from what I'm understanding, they've repeated history the whole way. Grail Knight, awesome. I mean. Everything is just, yeah, I know. It's such a repeat. <laughs> but yet, you know it works. So of course, scaling, I mean, again, Black Series, he scales with Black Series real well. A little short for your uh, Marvel Legends, but not terrible, so we'll let it slide. I bought Indy, and I said that was all I was going to buy, and I turned out to be a big fat liar, because it's soon as Henry came out, I almost bought Short Round. Let me pull back a second. I almost bought Short short Round. Looked at a couple of reviews and I said no. But as soon as Henry became available, I was like, I uh, gotta do it. And I grabbed it. And I don't regret it. Really don't. Um, again, this, to my mind, is probably the best figure in this line. A must-have for an Indiana Jones fan. And it doesn't hurt to have Henry Sr. I'm going to probably try to pick up a short round later. I don't know, but if I do, I'll probably have him, you know, hanging out and be like, you know, Junior, who's that? <laughs> What's this little Chinese boy? Anyway, uh, phenomenal figure. Really love it. Um, really 
it. Um, thank you for watching Infinite Realms again. Thank you for watching Infinite Realms. Pop goes the weasel.